Chapter four, the solar system and the atom. We already saw how the solar system perfectly models the atom. The sun is a giant nucleus and the earth is a giant electron as are the other planets. The solar system is measured to be 7,900 million miles across as far as the orbit of the planet Pluto. Our earth is measured at only 7,900 miles across. That makes the solar system a million times bigger than the earth. Let our minds make the obvious connection. If the earth is the same as an electron and the solar system is the same as an atom, then we conclude that the proportions must be the same. In other words, the size of the atom compared to the electron must be the same as the size of the solar system compared to the earth. Solar system is to earth what atom is to electron. Same proportions, same laws, different sizes. If the solar system is a million times bigger than the earth, then the atom is a million times bigger than the electron. Is this true? According to modern measurements, the electron has been measured at about one fourth trillionth of an inch and the atom about one fourth millionth of an inch across. That gives a proportion of one million times, just like it is between the earth and the solar system. This confirms our intuition that the solar system is a giant atom and the earth is a giant electron and the sun is a nucleus. The law of creation is, as above, so it is below. Now our mind has been freed and we can proceed to investigate atoms and electrons by studying our own solar system. We don't need expensive tools. We just need the knowledge that has been available since ancient times when our ancestors spent many nights studying the sky. They were looking at stars, but at the same time, they were looking at the microscopic particles of matter. Modern astronomers and physicists separate themselves into two camps. In the ancient days, our ancestors, as they built great pyramids and other monuments to study and chronicle the movements of the stars, knew that there was no difference between astronomy and physics. By studying astronomy, they learned all about physics as well because physics is the study of astronomy on a microscopic scale. As above, so it is below. That is the law of creation. Once we have a clear understanding of this law, we can use it to learn about the rest of the universe how it was created, when it was created, what is its size and duration. All we need is our minds.